It started unintentionally. We had the solar car projects here. Because of our really passion about sustainability and renewable energy, we started an initiative of uh, solar farm. And that's where Ali come up with the idea. This area is actually going to be called Sustainability Corridor. So we wanted to build a building. We have a site, but we are not allowed to have a house because of the council and regulations. When uh, Tosin and Ali came, we had a walk through uh, our display models and basically discussed the idea of a collaboration between uh, Van Homes and Western Sydney University. Being able to say yes, you know, Van Homes was part of the home of the future. We felt it's not an opportunity that comes up every day, so we took it and uh, took it very willingly and happily. In finding Van Homes, we find a partner where the house is on wheels and where we can actually have something we can replicate and start to play with and start to understand, have a data, have a starting point where we can start thinking, you know, start thinking where do we go from here? How do we go to sustainability? How do we get this material? If we should use this material, is it sustainable? Is it going to perform the same way as that material that we are looking at? We have intention of doing a digital twin of, uh, of the house, whereby we can start testing uh, parameters, testing in housing, uh, livability condition in a simulated house. We're looking at a way where you have everything in the house, connect everything in the house is connected through the internet and you have a dashboard and you can continue to make an informed decision what is optimum for you. So up to the, due to COVID, we are not able to start that project, but we hope this year we'll get some students to start working on it. Vanum as a platform is a good way and we are happy with our collaboration with Vanum in this regard. When we talk about environmental impact, we all contribute to it through waste and we all contribute to the way we live our lives. So, like most of you are aware that like McDonald's stopped using plastic straws. This is just one way they've decided to contribute to it. We can contribute to this by making decisions to go with things that are sustainable. If a product is sustainable, that's what I'm going to buy. And that will force manufacturer, manufacturers to go there. If I go out and say, I want to have a mobile home, and I go to Van Homes, I said, I want sustainable materials. Van Homes, as a customer oriented, we say, how do I make my homes to be sustainable? So this is contribution from each and everyone. Each person can contribute to this. The way we live our life, the way we make our choices in saying, look, I, I got my grandchildren coming, I got my, my children, I want to leave a legacy for them. I'm making informed decision on sustainability. That's how I think we can all contribute to this.